What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is the Gaffalos here and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Rain King. So as usual, if you guys are going to enjoy it, consider liking this video as well as subscribing to my channel. Really do appreciate your support here, but most importantly, it's today. Don't miss future episodes or uploads of single player content or playthroughs just like this one here on my channel. So thank you so much for doing so if you've already done it. With that being said, let's get this episode started. Now here we are in the gate. We are currently here, I believe, just outside the graveyard here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and explore this place. Now in the previous episode, you'll recall, um, we just unlock pike's level 3 ultimate and i believe i um we, we dealt with some of the some of his uh, some of his enemies here that we needed to kill um in order to get that ultimate unlock so um i think the last one was also in the graveyard and that is why we are back here because i promised you guys in the previous episode that uh, at, at least those of you watching at least i promised you guys that i would go ahead and explore the graveyard um in this particular episode so um another thing to note is that i know this will delay the our initial objective which is to i think um get some ultimates unlock as well i think for misfortune and alawi i understand that's going to delay that a little bit but um, i think it's important because like i said i made a promise to you guys we're going to explore the graveyard we're going to go ahead and explore the graveyard so let's go ahead and just head in i'm expecting a lot of references here to um a character from league of legends i'm expecting a lot of references to yorick here um but you know i'm, I'm just gonna have to take things a while and see um we have an enemy up ahead and it looks like a big one well not a big one but a fairly um, you know, fairly strong one. 25 uh, XP is no pushover. Tw sorry, 25 level is uh, no pushover here. And looks new as well. Empowered Miss Elemental and Miss, Ke Miss Walker Keeper of Secrets. Let's go ahead and see what they do. Um, Empowered Miss Elemental. Miss Surge adds a moderate da uh, damage shield and applies Biting Miss to self. Biting Miss lasts while the damage shield is active and adds very light damage from attack. Miss Barrage deals heavy damage over 6 shots. Okay. Um, what about the bottom fellow? Miss Walker, Keeper of Secrets. Deals more than magic damage to your champion. At Chaos Barrier adds a heavy damage shield and applies Chaos Barrier to an ally. Chaos Barrier applies a random debuff from Poison Beak, Ignite Slow, Sunder, or Magic Sunder to attacking champions and lasts until damage shields removed. Major Power increases attack power by 30%. Remove when hit by a power lane attack. Okay, so we might have to try to take this guy out first and we might have to try to remove his, um, his, um, his buff here of the, you know, Page of Power. Um, we're not gonna force it because uh, you know we're just gonna we're just gonna go as the flow. Uh, we start here with Alawi, so let's go ahead and do a tentacle smash. And I think we target the strongest enemy here. Land. Okay, let's do double taking orb. Get some debuff from him. Night bleed and poison, which is cool. Let's get a carve on the Miss Walker as well. Why the hell not? Added some very useful debuffs there. Bleed poison and I think a couple of critical hits. And he gets a critical hit of hits of hit of his own. <laughs> on bike. It's a bit scary, but it's fine. What we're gonna do is we are gonna cast a healing miss speed and get a regeneration buff on everyone. Um, I understand it's not that great because healing miss heals for about 1,000 and the champions are, I think, about you know just maybe a couple hundred down. But uh, the regeneration buff is gonna come in handy. So let's gonna go ahead and uh, you know cast that. Okay, let's do over deception as well, and I think we can target the empowered miss elemental here since it has um, a damage shield off. We're gonna do another carve with Pike here because we do not have enough uh, overcharge, and I think we can target the same guy, which is the. No, I don't want to target the Elemental. I want to target the Miss Walker. We should try to take him out first, or maybe we could gun for a double. A double, a double kill would be nice, to be honest. Oh yeah, let's try for a double kill. Just hoping we get more debuffs than Sunday and Poison. Not that great. It's okay. It is a okay. Alright, let's get a debilitating orb on this fellow. Get some debuffs on him. Ignite, bleed, and poison, which is cool. More barriers. Wow. <laughs> yeah, these new enemies aren't fucking around. Um, I think we'll do a mark target here just to waste a turn and at the same time, you know, potentially get some damage off. Maybe you could dispel some of the 
um, what is it? What is it? Their damage shields. That way we could try to get Pike's ultimate. I'm trying to conserve this uh, first ultimate here for Pike. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Scared tentacle smash on this fellow. Okay, let's do another mark target just to waste the turn again. Oh man, it's on the same guy. <laughs> I was hoping he would target the other guy here. Uh, you know, because, you know, I know I clicked on this fellow, but miss, uh, what is it? Mark target is random, so, you know, I have no control over who it targets. So, yeah, just to let you guys know. Um, it's not a misplay from me. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to do a carve, I think, and we should target... Uh, yeah, I really want to keep the ultimate for Pike. That way we could try to get the double kill. Um, okay, in that sense, let's go ahead and do a... Carve on this fellow, I think. I was hoping we dispel some of the shield there. Let's not dispel the shield either, which is so unfortunate. Mm, we can do a Orb of Deception here. Let's target this guy. Uh, no extra turn as well, so unfortunate again. Okay, I'm gonna do Crashing Tides here. I'm sorry, harsh lesson to this fellow. That way we might weaken him for Pike. And if we do, that would be good. Try to enjoy this. Okay, and Pike should get his um, double kill here, I think. Um, to the depths, there we go. Okay, so wave two, um, Forbidden Chronicles and another Empowered Miss Elemental. Let's check out what the Forbidden Chronicle does first. Um, this looks like a more, you know, deadlier version of the Forbidden Tome, a Possessed Tome, like, you know, how the uh, Miss Walker Keeper of Secrets is a more improved version of the Miss Walker Librarian. And I believe the Empowered Miss Elemental is just, you know, as its name, as its namesake, an empowered version of the Miss Elemental. So, uh, let's see what the Forbidden Chronicle does here. Words of Pain deals light magic damage. Forbidden Words, applies Forbidden Words to a champion, causing him to take magic damage uh, each time they are healed for three turns as a modern cooldown. Oof, this is a bit, uh, you know, a bit unfortunate here. Um, that means we cannot get the heal off which is a bit you know a bit scary book how many pages buff a random ally with either 10% crit chance attack power or red damage reduction or 20% haste um, two of them are the same so uh, you know I think basically both of them should do the same thing so uh, in that case we cannot get any heals off I think that means we have to go aggressive uh, what I'm gonna do is since we have a start with Ari here let's do a fox fire that way we could get some you know magic damage um, ran to a random enemy each turn I think that's gonna be important let's do it's to balance as well. Nothing but chum. Page of wit targets pike there. Page of savagery targets pike again. Hmm. Oh god. Ripper. You are joking. <laughs> claim me. Oh my lord. Um, okay. They won't forget you. I'm gonna have to use a potion here. I need Pike for this one, because Pike is our main damage dealer, so we're gonna have to do a minor revival on him. My goodness. This is an absolute joke, man. The enemies are absolutely powerful. <laughs> we have to really be careful moving forward. Uh, let's do a tentacle smash here, and I think we target the... 3806. Another target on Pike. Stop targeting Pike for fuck's sakes. 
Maybe we should have um, Alawi do a taunt, but we didn't do it on the first turn because she does not have <coughs> enough uh, overcharge. I want to get the overcharge bonus. I want to keep the overcharge bonus. I don't want to waste any mana. So, yeah. Um, let's do, I think... Like, okay, let's do ultimate here. I know this is not going to kill anyone. I realize this, but it should weaken them. Hopefully, you know, that's going to weaken them significantly to, you know, give them something to think about. <laughs> It actually kills one of them, <laughs> which is kind of cool, uh, but in some ways a bit unfortunate as well. Because, you know, we miss our multi-kill, but um, I think it's okay. Alright, let's do a heal here. We need to heal up, so I'm going to do a spirit man, and we will heal up Pike. Just hold still. Uh, with, with, with uh, what is it, with Alawi here. I am going to do a taunt so that, you know, in case it chooses to attack Pike again, at least, you know, um, you know moving forward from future, future turns, like Forbidden Chronicle, casting the attack on Pike, at least it's going to direct towards some Alawi. I think that's one more. Alright, let's do Tentacle Barrier. get a we can actually get another ultimate here um let's try it maybe we might get lucky we might get a double kill um, that would be good awesome. okay we do get our double kill <laughs> which is kind of cool um, we suffered a little bit of a scare because you know we saw how Pike died there, and you know it's uh, it, it it's uh, it's it, you know, it's very apparent that we are I won't say weak, but you know the enemies have gotten much tougher. So 132 XP here. I don't think anyone levels up. Yeah, no one levels up. Um, it's a bit unfortunate, but it's fine. So what we need to do now is we need to explore the rest of the graveyard, like I said. Um, so what I was referring to earlier, I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier, is that I'm hoping that we get to find some, you know, references to this place. Um, you know, mainly a reference to a league champion here. Um, I think his name is called Yorick. So not really sure if he will be making an appearance in this game, but if a reference to Yorick is present, that would be nice. Because if I'm not mistaken, Yorick is something like some sort of grave digger, some sort of undertaker, if you will, um, of the Shadow Isles here um his job isn't really looking after the corpses but you know it's more about looking after the um the, sh the souls of some sort i see some sort of enemy up ahead um there's another one down here as well i don't want to get a triple wave so i'm gonna try to get a double wave instead or maybe a single wave that'll be better no just one wave of enemies uh, okay so looks like one wave which is uh, kind of cool um i know there was another tray on top ahead so i did not want to get a double wave here Looks like we have two new former enemies as well. Um, a potentially, you know, upgraded version of the Fear Eater as well as a potentially upgraded version of the, uh, you know, the basic Wisp. Uh, let's go ahead and see what they do. Pain Harvester. Harvest Pain consumes all de debuffs on allies and increases attack power by 10% per debuff consumed. So we should... So it looks like debuffs are actually very detrimental to our cause here. Uh, that means we have to try to get straight up damage. So try not to get some ignites and stuff. Unleash Pain deals heavy damage over 6 hits. Um... Could be a bit scary. What about the Wisp Mother? Nightmare kills target champion. My goodness. Okay, so I think we need to try to take out this guy uh, before he tries to, you know, cast anything on us. Because uh, looks like revives could be very important here. Uh, revival potions. Okay. Um, and it's targeting Ari as well. Uh, okay, let's do a carf. I want to try to kill him as quick as we can. Uh, okay, it's gonna cast last, so it's uh, we have a lot of leeway here. Um, so we're not gonna focus on the feed. We are just gonna fail focus on the Wisp Mother first. Uh, the, the Pain Harvester, sorry. We're gonna focus on the Wisp Mother first, just to make sure that it does not kill Ari. Okay, 
Okay, let's go. The building orb on it. Stay still. Wow. Okay, we need Alawi to taunt. <laughs> we really need Alawi to taunt. Um, let's do a carve here because we do not have enough overcharge for a bone skewer. the targets her instead of Ari and we do a tentacle smash to this guy okay let's do orbit deception extra turn which is nice we get a stun as well I think we can we can do a stun um, not that we have to do a stun but then um, we can do a stun do we want to do a stun? That is the question. I think not because Pike should be able to get his um, critical here on the Wisp Mother. So in that case, uh, let's try to stun maybe the Pain Harvester. I think that would be much better. I think I remember. Yeah, okay. I think that was the right call there. Alright, let's do... I want to try Pike's ultimate. We could kill this guy and we could get any remaining damage on the Pain Harvester. I think that'll be much better than doing his bone the bone score critical. Uh, let's try it, let's try it. If not, we could have Lawi sweep up. I think it should be okay. Okay, that was definitely not a kill on the main Arrester, but um, we should be able to win here. So let's just do a harsh lesson, and I think we should get the win here. Yeah, we do get the win. Nice. Alright, full health finish, overcharge only, 552 XP. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of pleased with that, and of course our champions level up, which is nice. Uh, but we'll check that out later, possibly towards the end of this episode, or maybe uh, we can do it now. We can leave the we can leave the tray on there for possibly some uh, you know the next episode or something. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and do some of the champion level ups here. I think that's gonna be important. Um, we got some, I think an ability point, right? We do get an ability point. Do we get any runes? We do not get any runes. So looks like only an ability point. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and assign the you know the points to the champions here um, you know just to finish off the episode because I think I would like to leave the tray on um, for the next episode uh, looks like you know it could that could be another battle in itself so you know I don't want to waste too much of your time as well 20 minutes per episode I think is ideal so let's go ahead and just level up the champions just to wait to wind down the, to close off the episode um, let's do I think a upgrade the pike here uh, not much to upgrade to be honest uh, phantom undertow ghost water dive Ghost Shroud. Um, see, I really slice. I really don't know what to upgrade here. Maybe we can upgrade the Ghost Water Dive. I think. Uh, no, we don't need a tutorial. I already, you know, at this stage, I should be familiar with how to use the ability menu. If I am not, uh, you probably shouldn't be watching me play. <laughs> um, okay, so. Yeah, Ghost Water Dive 1A stuff can withstand additional hit before being uh, dispelled. Increase attack power by 10% for one turn. Um, let's go ahead and do a Ghost Water Dive 1B since because we do have stealth starting the battle. Um, that's courtesy of one of the runes, by the way. I should probably show you, but I'll do that in a second. Um, if we go to Ari here, we, we should upgrade another one of our abilities as well. Let's go ahead and I think upgrade maybe the Spirit Man. Um... 10 overcharge to target. Power lane instead heals all allies for 755 each. Ability upgrades and bonus healing from essence death apply to all targets. Speed link can revive a KO'd ally by 60% per health. This could actually be very, very nice. Um, the Guardian Spirit does give us some regeneration here um, because it applies the stack regeneration to each ally per stack essence death. Um, or actually, we could consider upgrading Guardian Spirit to 3B because it increases the critical chance. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me just double check the Spirit Man. How is this a fast target? It is a fast target. 25 mana, however, that is a bit unfortunate. Speed Link can revive a KO'd ally by 60% health. I know Alawi has a revived the KO ally, I think, on a healing miss, right? Um, no, it's not on a healing miss. 
What? Hold on. Um, oh, is it on the Grace of Nagakaboros? I remember I saw one. There we go. Okay, Grace of Nagakaboros re revives a healing, uh, revives a chaos ally on Alawi. So, in that sense, I think it's better to give Ori the revive. I think that would be much better. Because it provides us some options. It does cost a little bit more though. 25 mana there. Um... What do we do? What do we do? Maybe we should upgrade Foxfire. Four mana for each orb hit. Magic Sunder increases magic damage taken by 4%. Mm, I don't know. All the good ones are actually upgraded, I think. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? Let's just dump it in Guardian Spirit for now. Let's go ahead and give her, I think, the uh, Guardian Spirit Tree B. Because uh, it increases the crit chance of our allies by 5% for the duration. So if we cast it, you know, it's essentially an increment to the crit chance of our allies, which I think is important. Um, for Alawi here, let's go ahead and I think just dump a point in maybe the Thorn. Because um, she might be doing some taunts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give her the taunt tree A. Now, just for now because, you know, she's the current tank for our team. When we have Braum, we might have to reshuffle the team dynamics a bit. Um, let's go ahead and just quickly give Misfortune, Yasuo, and Braum their points as well. Um, I think for Misfortune, we will upgrade the two time here. Because, you know, we've been doing that quite re you know quite often in the previous dungeons. So I think it might be good when we have her back in the team. Um, let's go ahead and give her, I think, a... What is this? Deuce an additional 101 damage to target afflic uh, targets afflicted with tap. Each hit applies ignite 169 true damage over 3 turns. I think this is much more reliable because, you know, we we, we, we will try to apply tap on Misfortune, but, um, you know, it's not a necessity, I would say, because her Shredder does a lot of damage on its own. So, yeah, tap could be a bit negligible. Uh, for Bomb here, for Brom, let's go ahead and see if we could get a cast on... Uh, let's see if we could get a point on some useful, you know, some useful abilities here. I know I have not upgraded his passive, but that is because we are rarely attacking with Brom. So, um, you know, having the ray shield isn't that great because, we, you know, we rarely cast abilities with Brom here. Um, but it could be good as well, to be honest, to upgrade that. Mm. The unfortunate thing is that they're all doing casting, so... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think let's just go ahead and upgrade maybe the Concussive Blow for now. Uh, you know, we could reshuffle this later, so yeah, just for now. Let's go ahead and I think put a Sunder on him, um, the Concussive Blow. That could be good when we chain up with maybe Yasuo, Misfortune, or Pike since they do physical damage. Um, for Yasuo here, I think we'll just dump something into the... Maybe the Eye of the Wind. Push his allies forward by a small amount less an additional turn. Um, let's go with a... Push allies forward by a small amount because I think that would be important um, so that you know we could get a very deadly combo here. In each time we cast it out of the wind, it increases the critical chance, and each time it pushes the allies forward, that way we could get our abilities off faster. So that will be very, very useful on Yasuo. So um, that's pretty much it. We do not have enough runes, I think. Um, yeah, we do not have enough rooms, uh, runes to upgrade the champions. So uh, we're just gonna leave that for now. Um, and taking everything into consideration, we're gonna end the video here because we're also running out of time. We are about 20 minutes in, and I can see an enemy there, which I I do not want to face. The main reason why I want to face him is because, if I'm not mistaken, there is a chest up ahead. So I would like to grab that. So we're gonna leave this area for the next air for the next episode, the Veil of Eternity, and we'll explore everything here um, as well as reach the. Um objective hopefully by the end of the next episode so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of ranking and if you did consider liking this video as well as subscribing to my channel really do appreciate your support here but most importantly it's so that you don't miss future episodes or upload single player content just like this one here on my channel so thank you so much for doing so i have already done it and with that being said this is capital signing off thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me hopefully i catch you all in the next episode goodbye